Hello and welcome to Drawing and Painting in Photoshop. There are drawing tools in Photoshop, such as the Shape Tool, the Pen Tool, and Pencil Tool. All these drawing tools work the same as they would in Photoshop, like they do in InDesign. So if you need some instruction on that, go ahead and check out my InDesign video for Tools Part 1 and go to about the 2 minute and 25 second mark in the video. Painting. Easy enough in Photoshop, I'm going to talk about brushes, color replacement, the mixer brush, and the paint bucket, and a few other things. So in Photoshop today, I'm going to be focusing on the painting method in Photoshop. This is the fun part of Photoshop with all kinds of different brushes to choose from and different um, methods you can do to color replace, mix colors, add colors, use different brushes, different sizes, you can even create your own brush, or you can even download and import other brushes. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So for brushes, you can press the key, the B key on your keyboard and just follow along with me if you'd like. So here at the top in the options bar, you have the options to change the size of your brush in pixels, or you can choose a different brush. There's a lot to choose from in the Photoshop library by default. There's ones that look like grass or eyelashes, there's a couple leaves, there's a few stars and several different sponge um, brushes. There's ones that are a couple airbrush ones. Um, I've, I think these are charcoal, oh no, crayon pastel, like different medias that you would usually use, um, you know, on a canvas. But these are digital, which is kind of cool. So I'm just going to choose the angled fan brush here. And it gives you a little animation, I think is what this is. Um, I'm not quite sure what this is. Thing is it pops up but cool anyways um, I'm just going to paint once let's see make it, ooh, this is kind of cool so that's what it would look like now of course if you had a graphics tablet um, plugged into your Mac or PC um, and you can enable the pressure setting which is up here at the top um, you can always use pressure with your brush or you can enable it through settings um, and that's really cool too so this brush is a I have no idea what type of brush this is but as you can see I'm just gonna go up bend over it's, it's really fun it's really cool um, so yeah those are a couple brushes for color replacement you can do a few things so I'm not going to use this brush I'm going to close whatever this is and um, for color replacement there's several different ways you can use the color replacement brush here in the tool box it's a it's a tool and you can choose between hue saturation color and luminosity so I'm just going to choose saturation and my foreground color is black so when I paint over it uh, let's say let me make my brush a little bit bigger first there we go let's say I want to paint over the cake maybe I want the cake black and white I don't know but I can continue painting now notice that there is no color to this cake or hardly any color the way this brush is going okay there we go so I totally desaturated the color of the cake now if I were to choose maybe hue and paint over the napkins it kind of does a color replacement thing here too with black let me, let me do it with a different color so I can show you what it does with a different color. So I'm going to just choose this red here and paint over. So now I'm 
color replacing with red instead of black. And yeah, so now the napkins are red, even though I have that random spot right there, but um, you can just continue painting over and a few things will change hue, like the greens will have red in them now. Um, the mixer brush, so I'm going to go to the next, this, this artboard here, and I'm going to quickly erase, actually no, I'm just going to add a new layer, and delete this layer, there we go, and I'll fill it real quick, so the, the fill G on your keyboard, and I'm going to swap the color, and paint it white. There we go. Now I'm going to come back to the mixer brush. But first, I'm going to add a couple colors. Mm, yeah, I'll have this one. So maybe I'll have red. Let me make this brush just a little bit bigger here. Not that big. There we go. So I'll have the red and maybe a light blue and I'll plop them together like that. Now when I select the mixer brush I have control of the wetness the load, how much it mixes, so I want it to mix 100%, and the flow of the brush. Now I can mix my color here and make purple. And you can just continue doing this. You can add more layer, you can add more paint uh, in, in a single layer, I mean and you can just continue mixing and create a new color. Maybe that's helpful if you're mixing watercolors and, um, and that's what you want to do. You want to add a little bit more mixture to your creative piece. So now for making brushes, you can make your own brush. So I've already made my own palette So, or my own brush preset here. To create your brush size for Photoshop, you need to go to File New, and this is the uh, width and height you need for your Photoshop document. So you need 500 by 500 pixels. Resolution 300 pixels per inch, that's fine, whatever. Or it can be even be 72, it doesn't really matter. Um, and you can just select OK to create your square canvas. Now, let me default my colors here. I'm going to just, um, whoop, wrong brush. You can use your brush, you can use um, your pencil, you can use your pen tool, you can use whatever you want in Photoshop because those tools are also available. You don't have to use the brush. Maybe I want a brush like this. Now all you have to do is go to edit Define Brush Preset, and then select OK. Now I have this brush to use, so now I'll go to this canvas here, and here's my brush. It's kind of a cool brush, actually. There we go, that's what it looks like just all by itself, and that's what it looks like once you start painting. That's pretty cool, huh? Now, you can also import other brushes from um, the internet if you download brushes from the internet. So I went to Google and I wanted a Galaxy brush to use for um, a project. I wanted to create a Star Vec Galaxy here. So I've already downloaded this. So it's in my downloads folder. So now all I have to do now is go to the brush here in the corner, go to the gear setting here and I want to load brushes. Dialog box will appear. Navigate to wherever you save the brushes. So I saved them in the download folder. I'm going to select that and I'm going to select open. Now they should be added 
to the rest of the list down here, okay? They are. So now I'm going to actually, I'm just going to create a new layer, delete this, fill this with white. Choose a different color real quick. Uh, maybe this dark purple. And then I'll choose the brush. Oops. Brush. And now I'll choose one of those brushes. I'll choose this one here. And now when I just click, boom, there's a little little black hole there. So I that's all the time I have for you today. I hope this information was helpful and useful for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing. See you next time.